Right, hello YouTube, and welcome to a Let's Play that I've wanted to make for a little while. Uh, I felt like a bit of a change for Battletech, so we're going to be covering a game called Waves of Steel. Uh, it's an in-progress game, so there may end up being breaks in this Let's Play while we wait for, well, <laughs> the levels to be finished. Oh, there's the audio. <laughs> that caught me off guard. It's just been quiet for a while, I don't know why it didn't, uh, why it didn't play. A uh, bit of a quick disclosure, I'm actually in this game. Kind of, or rather I should say I've done some work for it. I've made some of the ships in it, so I'll maybe point those out if we see them and we'll maybe maybe even use them ourselves. Uh, those of you who don't know this game, I did do a review on it. It's kind of a spiritual successor to the Warship kind of games uh, series I'm very much a fan of, and I'm very glad to see that people are, well, effectively continuing this series, in a sense. Not like an official continuation or anything, but very much in the spirit of, I think, is a good way to put it. I would have um, started this Let's Play a lot earlier, but at the time I wanted to start it, there was an issue with um, the tutorial level, which I believe has since been fixed. I didn't really want to show the game off while it wasn't working properly, so... Captain's on deck. Add easy, Lieutenant Nichols. Allow me to introduce Captain Merriweather. She'll be joining us for our Shakedown cruise. Apologies if I'm a bit loud, I should mention. I think uh, <laughs> the game's audio is louder than I remember. I probably should have adjusted that before we start, but oh well, we'll roll with it. Pleasure to meet you, Lieutenant. Uh, yes, sir. Welcome aboard the Denali, sir. Relax, Lieutenant. I'm not here for a formal inspection. I just wanted to see the people who will be protecting the Ratus. Actually, I never know how to pronounce this. Rat Ratatusk? Uh, either way, on the next leg of our journey. Captain Merriweather normally works at the Bureau of Ships. She's quite the expert in ship design there, but requested command of the Ratosk. I love working for the Bureau, but I'm excited for the change of pace. I feel like the Ratosk was calling me, I suppose. The Ratatosk, sir? I'm just going to call it the Ratosk for the sake of simplicity. That's right. She's my ship, and an important new addition to the US Navy. I'll be counting on you and your crew to keep her safe, Quint. You can rely on us, sir. I know I can. You came highly recommended, and we're not expecting any trouble. If I may, I'd like to see your ship's engines. Sir, right this way. This is one of the first ships I designed, you know. I always want to see it in person. That's amazing, sir. I'd love to pick your brain about your design. That's for another time, Lieutenant. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. I suppose if you were a bit deaf, that would be helpful to have. It says, Cavity Harbour Control ports unidentified ships have entered the harbour. The suck of pickets that are demanding the surrender of all military forces in the base. What? Damnation. Captain Merriweather, we're not safe in harbour here. We need freedom to manoeuvre. You better get your ship out of the way as soon as possible. I... Yes, yes, you're right. And your room raised full steam. Prepare for immediate departure. Nicole's escort Captain Merriweather off the ship. Yes, sir. Captain, please come with me. We better hurry. And here we go, we're into the actual game. Are we clear to undock? Yeah, a little bit of a uh, how to play. Rockler, sir, engine boiler room reports boilers already. Very good, take us back slowly. Yeah, the the throttle is on a bit of a, um, it's on like notches effectively. Ah, that's actually different. I've updated a little bit there. But yes, as you can see, the game's a bit of a look to it. It's actually more colourful than it used to be. I think they've they added more things around the harbour, or is it just brighter? Not sure. I know they were adding some new um, colour systems. We're going to get a stress signal, sir. The destroyer Shastra is under heavy attack and needs assistance. We're going to go help them. We're late to the fight, it seems. Overdrive the engines. We need all possible speed. Yeah, we've got a... Basically, we've got some, some special powers. We've got a ram, we've got a turbo, and we've got a... Um, <laughs> well, we can strafe, basically. I don't know quite how that works, but... It's a thing what we can do. Gun crews, mark targets, and engage as soon as we're in range. Show us where things are. 
Activate the ramp. This photo, I think I've skipped his uh things. Aha, okay, cool. We're good to <laughs> we are good to go for let's play. They fixed the bug. Um the bug before was that I couldn't fire the guns at all. Uh which is obviously a bit of an issue. Ah, and you notice there we just found a ship's bridge. Because we the uh, main point of this game, which you might not realise yet, is not to necessarily pilot the ships, although it is part of it, but that you could also build your own. The Shasta's captain sends their thanks. Their engines are damaged and they are returning to dock for repairs. Well, they haven't got far to go. Calls to us to repel the remaining invaders then. What are we looking at, Lieutenant? A cruiser and a destroyer escorts are approaching from the bay entrance, sir. Set a course for the new enemies. Uh, I think you mean set a course for the loot, then the new enemies. I like the spiral effect on the, the ram. I think that's new. It had like an effect before, but I don't remember it sort of spinning like that. It looks good. Can we switch weapons? Target the cruiser with our main guns. Ah. Okay, that's why I couldn't... Couldn't lock on before. Yeah, you can also lock targets so you don't have to look too hard at what you're actually near. We're going to try and ram that, uh, that destroyer there. Let's get him. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. The cruiser's escort should need some time to re-establish chain of command. Now's our chance. Fish the torpedoes, sink those destroyers before they command a defense. Ugh, voice crack. Nope. He exploded before even I realized I'd fired the torpedoes. Yes, yeah, torpedoes in this do a lot of damage, but they're a little bit different to, uh, to aim. Hmm. Oh, I guess I've locked torpedoes for this. I was trying to change weapon back to guns, but... Well, it wasn't working. One more fleet to send to the base, sir. They're not staying long. Let's push them out. And by push them out, we mean send them to the bottom. Okay, now I've got full access to everything. W bridge. But yes, like I said, I actually made some of the... Uh, well, I say enemy ship models, but technically they use the same for both players and enemies, so... I'll let you guys know if we, if we see them, but they're not there yet. And I don't think they'll be in for a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure at least one of them is a late game thing, and one of them is a going to be like mid game, I think. I, like, I do like some of the improbable maneuvers you can pull. Ah, okay, so the power of sync now. I don't remember them doing that before. Got it. Oh, I missed the quick turn. I'm pretty sure I had quick turn uh, as one of my power-ups when I was playing through this before. There's going to be some content in this game that I've seen, and there's going to be, I think, quite a few levels I haven't, because they've been adding stuff since the review. No sign of additional enemy ships, sir. Well done, everyone. But where do these ships come from? Sir, the crew from the number one turret have reported the issue of its tracking. They're unable to elevate it above five degrees. That's not good, but the retas... The re Ratos leaves soon. <laughs> Even when I use my shortened name, I can't remember it. And we don't have time to put in for repairs. I could help you with that, actually. Got to Merriweather. The Ratosk is a fully equipped floating dry dock. Bring the Domali in, and we'll take a look at that gun of yours. We'll have you back in action in no time. Better you than me. Uh, yeah, we got all the boxes. And mission. Strangely enough, as far as I'm aware, unless someone's beat me to it in the last few days, this is actually like the first Let's Play of this game. It's up. I'm kind of surprised by that. I use the ship designer. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go straight into designing our own ship. I set up a small studio on the Ratosk for working on my designs while we're at sea. Ratosk has all the equipment needed to turn my designs into reality. Basically, that's new. Uh, you could build uh, ships on the move during the campaign. In addition to making new ships from scratch, you can also upgrade existing ships. As long as the Ratos is nearby, you can make any adjustments you need. Okay, let's get that gun swapped out. Here's your ship. Yep, so here's the Denali. And here's the number one turret. Rather go in there with a flashlight and wrench to figure out what's wrong with it, it's easy just to pull the whole thing and replace it. Okay, now we need to replace it. 
The Ratos has a machine shop on... I don't know why that one's lit up. That might be a bug. The Ratos has a... Uh, I should mention this game is still in fairly early development. I am, being, I am quite kind to it because it's uh, very much a success of something I like. And I don't remember it being particularly buggy, but there might be a few little bits and pieces like that to keep an eye out for. Uh, the Rathos of the Machine Tap on board all the tools needed to make any equipment we have the plans for. So that's what you get for the boxes, you get the plans. Unfortunately, we don't have many plans yet. Fortunately, we do have the plans for that 4-inch gun you removed, so we can make as many of those as you'd like. Main guns, 4-inch, 50 cal. Uh, and the arc around it is the firing arc, so that's where you can shoot. Keys are to rotate guns. And... We've got a bit of weight uh, allowance, got the master, so we can add some more. We have room for some bigger guns as well. Fortunately, we recently recovered the plan to build 5-inch guns. Figured out guns steal more damage and have longer range, but they have a lower firing rate. But it's not only worth upgrading when you can. The small guns. I know it's a slightly weird <laughs> place for guns. Well, at least it would be on a real ship, but hey. Sometimes you just want to cram as many guns as you can physically fit on deck. You can also make them taller. Ah, yes, this is uh, like stacking guns. I don't know. I don't know what the official word for it is, but elevating them, I suppose. Torpedo launchers. Don't need the forwards. Free space, and we'll put another one set on. Oh no, we can't. So we're going to reduce our armor, which is yeah, a little slight nerve wracking, but they reckon it's a good idea. We'll definitely make our own ship from scratch once we can, but for now. Almost done. There's one more. Th oh, one last thing I want to draw your attention to. You have a point defense weapon mounted amidships. You used to take you from aircraft and automatically fires on the targets. Ah, yes. Yeah, you can put some guns on the superstructures, but not all of them. Uh, I happen to know this is a <laughs> effectively a technical limitation uh, with how some of the coding works, uh, which I believe they are hoping to maybe do something about at some point, but it's not necessarily a priority at the moment because it's a big thing. Uh, my info is a, a few months out of date, possibly, so yeah, take what I say with a grain of salt, but I have spoken to the developers a fair bit when I was working well for them, basically. Or, well, working for them, commissioned for them. If you want, you can configure any weapon to fire automatically as well. Your option if you have trouble managing all the aspects of controlling your ship. Or if you want to just focus on big targets. Configure your weapon, press the systems button. And now we can just configure it however we like. Um, do we leave it as this? Oh, flag strands, okay. Oh, could we just set them up how we like? Oh my god. <laughs> ah yes, the seizure strip. I've not said this, this is no- oh my god. No. No, removed. <laughs> I should not be given this pair. Um, edit some more. Oh yes, they're saying about a... Uh, so if you happen to suffer from epilepsy, the, the default colour themes are quite... Um, what's it called? Like, uh, as they say, low contrast. Yeah, there are a few decals added. These weren't all here before. Um... Uh, Squid. Uh, set position. Ah, we can't actually. Position it. There we go. Why not? Uh, yeah, that'll do. Uh, oh, we have to say. Same ship. Lolly. Ooh. <laughs> Which I think I already made because, um, I don't know whether it's going to have saved my existing ships. By the way, which there might be a lot of, because I did have to do a fair bit of testing with, uh, again, the ones I was working on myself. Guam. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's the Ratosk. Long boy. Lieutenant Nichols, do you have any more information on the forces that attacked the Philippines? No, sir, we're still not sure where the ships came from or who had control over them. Damn it, so bizarre. Touch base of Admiral Weaver's staff to see if they know anything. I don't know, sir. I'm not sure she'll answer. Gave you an order, Lieutenant. Uh, I, sir. Is 
Mrs. Weaver. Over. Admiral, this is a welcome surprise. We weren't expected to reach you directly. We are wondering if your staff knows anything more about the skirmish at Naval Base Cavity. The skirmish? Oh, that's still classified, Captain Quinn. But I assure you I'll tell you everything I know as soon as I can. Over. Classified? But, ma'am. In the meantime, we've received a distress signal from our allies in Guam. Quinn, you're ordered to proceed to Guam to support the defence there. I'll send you what we know of the tactical situation. The rest of the convoy will proceed to Truk. Truk? Truk? Uh, I don't know again. You'll catch up with them there. Over and out. <coughs> Wait, Admiral. Damn it. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Tell me about it. I'm sure the Admiral has her reasons. Right now, Guan needs our help. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like the tea. I... I don't think I ever noticed this in the background before, the, the TV screen. That's interesting. Uh, according to the intel that Admiral Weaver sent us, Guam is being attacked by a flotilla of amphibious assault ships backed by warships and torpedo boats. Hmm. Nicole's look up our records. What defences does Guam have? Sir, they have an airbase and a few small shore guns. That's probably not enough. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to say thing. That won't be enough to repel an assault of this size. Those landing craft have been to land, the soldiers on them will be extremely difficult to dislodge. I'll have to prioritize them destroying as many landing craft as possible. We can deal with the remaining ships afterwards. Oh, and we're in. <laughs> well, I guess we're started. Wow, that was uh, abrupt. Uh, one thing I do like with this over warship gunners is that you can set up the um, the groups to like fire on the same thing, so you notice the bigger and smaller guns are firing at once. Oh. Also turns out if I click off window, the game closes. Sir, those ships are flying the same flag we saw in the Philippines. Okay, I thought it was going to be more more than that, but yeah, let's just remember finally remembering I can uh, turbo Have that box. I think I just <laughs> I think I for some reason mistook that PT boat for a landing craft and threw a torpedo at it. Uh, that might have been overkill. Come on, hurry up. I want to grab those before the landing craft land. I seem to remember not having much time on this mission. Yeah, you can <laughs> you can go kind of fast if you want to. Oh, jeez. Being rocketed. So, word from the defences of Guam. They have control over the beaches and are prepared to destroy any remaining forces that attend to landing. Ah, I think that means I've destroyed enough of them. Excellent. Tell the gunners to target the remaining export ships, and let's wrap this up. So, uh, let's sink the rest of these anyway, just in case. Make it a bit easier for the guys on the ground. The other thing I greatly appreciate for this one over uh, the original is that you don't have to mash the button to fire. You can just hold it. No, wait. Don't fire at that. Aye, sorry, guys. PT boats, uh, bit tiny. Let's dodge that. Not quite sure what the physics are on that, but it sure looks cool. I'm also starting to think that our single AA gun is not enough, <laughs> judging by the amount of aircraft. Mind you, are they friendly? It's our airbase, right? Do they have any carriers? Or the enemy, rather? Does they have any carriers? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think we got a. Oh, we're going to get. We're going to get got two at that rate. Got stuck on the wall. No, don't fire at those. Those are friendly, I think. So turn. Man, the, the ships feel less agile than they used to. I wonder if that's been tweaked or if it's just... Because I'm still so early game. Box. Do not fire at the surface guns. Ah. I am curious as to what that is. Can you get to Truk? Setting course for Truk. Yeah, sure thing. I'd say that went rather well, all things considered, but I definitely feel like there's work to do with this ship. I feel like some of our guns aren't always firing when they should be. We could do some stuff here, and we're unlocking more and more options as we go along. Fire class destroyer, various bridges, rockets. What? 
accidentally hit the escape button twice. Let's make something new. I can't make something new. Can I not? Interesting. Apparently I can't make anything new. I can only upgrade the current ship at the moment. That's weird. Uh, hmm. Let's see what parts we have access to anyway. Could do with a second point defense gun, maybe. Get power projectors. We've got two of those. That should be enough. Torpedoes. We could fit larger launchers. Missiles. Um. See, as we can't apparently make a new one yet. I want to try and do one from scratch to show you. All, uh... Two days later. At Truk. Oh, Duke or Truk Island. I don't know why those are different, but okay. Good morning, sir. We'll be arriving in troops shortly. Excellent. Definitely need to restock. Um, it seems like we have an incoming call from the Ratosk. Captain Twin, the truck base has been contacted. We need your assistance immediately. What? Oh, did she arrive ahead of us? I guess she arrived ahead of us. What? By who? Maybe the forces behind the Philippines attack? They call themselves Yormanganda. Some kind of military group demand demanding the surrender of the Rathosk. Why do they want the Rathosk? I don't know. My escorts are holding them off for now, but we're surrounded and need your assistance. Can't believe the escorts let this happen. We're coming to you, Merriweather. Just hold on. Please hurry. Engine room, flank speed. Give me everything you have. All hands, prepare for battle. Lieutenant Nichols, find our maps of the islands. We'll need to plan our approach. Here they are, sir. Screen's off now, I guess. Rook is controlled by the enemy. We'll need to watch out for attacks from the guns on the shore. Ah, which are there. If I remember correctly, there are airstrips on these islands. If they haven't been destroyed by the invaders, then we must assume they will be using them. Oh boy, maybe I should have fitted that extra air gun. That's a lot to deal with. Our priority must be reaching the Ratosk. I wish we knew exactly where it was. Can I signal okay for this location, sir? Oh, we do know where it is. Oh, good to know. I'll head there as soon as possible to protect it. Cool, so dive between the islands and save the ship. Sounds doable. Do we have a... I was about to say, do we have a zoom in? No, because that's the... <laughs> that's the same button that switches the ship. I don't know why I'm trying that. I thought that was sink it. County class. Wait a minute. County. Is that what I'm on I did? Was that the... No, I did the town. I was trying to remember. Off the top of my head. Similar names, you know. Let's have a look at what the yellow arrows are. Is that enemies? Okay, I think it's the buildings. These are... I think the buildings are friendly, right? It's the turrets on them that won't be. By the way, I'm not going to shoot at the civilian buildings anyway. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's definitely some unfriendly gun turrets. Oh. Wait, vault? Hang on. Hang on. Vault? Don't remember that. I'm willing to... Oh. Stopped. I'm willing to bet there's a little secret in that. I haven't seen that before. So let's update. There is one civilian building we're going to fire at, and it's that box. But there's definitely a gun of some sort shooting at me from here. Where is that? Oh, it's the ship in the harbour? Ah, sorry, clicking outside of the window again. Oh, is it the cargo? Oh, it's the cargo ship! I see. Kabuki class. Oh, nice. It was carrying a whole ship. It's got to be a secret, right? Micro Destroyer. Oh, it is a little secret. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what a Micro Destroyer is, but we're going to try and build one. Challenge run, smallest ship. Knock that out while we're going past. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we're catching up. Sorry, Rathos, we got a bit distracted there, but... 
Do I go back to it? Ah, PT boats can take more than one hit now as well, it seems. Or maybe they could normally. It's just because my guns have been so small. Lieutenant, get Meriwether on the radio. <coughs> the rattles... Ah, there it is. Isn't manoeuvring and it's leaving us at a disadvantage. Need to make sure she's alright. Come in, Rados. She's not answering. Damn, I hope she's alright. We must repulse this attack. Destroy the enemy ships. On it. Yeah. Oh. I meant to dodge the other way. <laughs> I'll just right into that. Just yeet that one out of the way. Oh, I think we're about to torpedo the Rados. Nope, just avoided it. Oh, fire control. There, that's the last of the attackers. Nicole's contact the... Sorry, reinforcements spotted to the northeast. They have an aircraft carrier. You better take them out quickly. Is the Rattos responding yet? I like how we're a destroyer and we're like, yeah, go off the aircraft carrier. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Nice, that. Then we'll just have to stop these aircraft before they can do too much damage. Come about, tell the crew to prepare for combat again. That's nice, it. Yes, what I need to think about this one is, um, I believe they've actually said that they're not going to do aircraft carriers, or at least they don't plan to. Um, not entirely sure why, it might be because while they've been in things like naval ops, the carriers have traditionally always been a bit bad. Like, functionally they don't work very well, and gameplay-wise it's just not enjoyable to watch the not especially good aircraft uh, fail to do their jobs and also not have anything like enough damage. Bunker. Oh, that looks like some big stationary guns. Alright, destroy the bunker if you must. Is that a wreck? There's more and more new stuff every time I play this game. Yeah, derelict. Anything in there? <laughs> yeah, repair kit, apparently. See what we can do about this. Ah, brief jump cut. Someone came in. Uh, because I have to record uh, in the front in the study. Uh, I very occasionally have to sort of uh, pause recordings. I try to edit them, the gaps out best I can. But sometimes with one like that, where I realise a little late, uh, doesn't necessarily work. Oh, there's a carrier. Boog. Well, uh, it didn't like that. Let's get rid of this, because there's a lot of aircraft showing up. Are those Harriers? The heck, we were propeller planes at first, and then those look a bit like... like sound like jump jets. Yeah. Harriers, or or some equivalent of. Weird. Rattos has been saved. Excellent. Wait, what are we... What have we got to do still? Oh, we're done. <laughs> that, that else is... That? Uh, is that going to be there? Anyway, the Rattos is safe, sir. However, the other escorts for the Ratos are damaged. They'll have to stay behind for repairs. So it'll be it. Be only as protesting the Ratos then. Testing protecting the Ratos then. Worse than that, sir. The chief engineer is reporting that the number two turbine's pressure vessel developed several leaks during the last fight. It's offline until we can repair it. Our other turbines aren't doing much better. We've been running them hard. Chief estimates we can make it at best 50% of our rated speed. Could we put it in the Ratos? <laughs> have it carriers? It's a dry dock, right? Nah, that's not good. We'll have trouble manoeuvring if it comes to a fight. This is one hell of a shakedown cruise. Captain Quinn, I'm here. The Ratos and I are just fine for now. It's good to hear, Captain. We're worried about you. What now, sir? We can't manoeuvre any better than you could, Captain. This shit needs to stop for repairs. Let's suppose the Ratos could do range of rebuilds? I yes, of course it can. Bring your ship to dock and we'll look at the damage. Ah, uh, okay, so I guess maybe they're introducing different bits of building one at a time. Unguided torpedoes times five. Bigger guns, fire control. That'll be a good one, we'll add that. Spooky class destroyer and bridge. Gear drive. Ah, yeah, micro destroyer treasure. Ah, okay, so I knew they'd added treasures, which were like little um, like bonus rewards. So I guess we find those in those vaults, if we can find those. That's interesting. Sorry, I should focus on my work. It'll help. Okay. We need to get your engines repaired. Fortunately, with the Ratos, it's similar to replacing your weapons. 
Let's take a look at your ship. For simplicity, here's the plans for the Denali as she was before we left the Philippines. There are three main parts you need to make a ship move. Power, drive, and vents. Power is the ship's power plant. It produces high pressure steam. Right now, the ship is using a set of coal boilers for that job. We'll need to pull those out and replace them. Since they're located inside the ship, they can be hard to reach. Hang on, I think I missed something there. There is a previous button, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs> I think what she was saying was, you can press this button to move to select your things below the ship. Now we need to remove all the engines. The long, thin blue boxes. Use enter to pick them up and escape to discard them, or in my case, click on them. Uh, thin boxes. These ones, right? Oh, okay. Well, I couldn't see. Oh, I should probably look at the bottom view as well. I forgot about that. All right, let's pull the drives as well. We've recently got plans for better ones, so we might as well upgrade. Yep. Okay, I don't know if I'm skipping dialogue there or if that's like a fraction of a second of something loading. I didn't think I pressed anything, but maybe I double clicked. The ship has two direct drives. They use the steam produced by the coal boilers to turn the ship's propellers, generating thrust. Yeah, that again. Remove the drives. They're the large light blue boxes inside the ship. Yep, don't need that. Good. Now I can install new drives. Click this button to bring up a list of all the drives we have plans for. Install two geared drives anywhere in the ship's hull. Yes, we've got an improved one. Oh dear. Every drive unit can only accept so much power from the ship's power plants. Any extra power that reduced beyond that limit is wasted. Yes, yeah, so this bit here where it says power. If it's short, we could put more in. If it's um like over, we're the waste to get, so we might so Oh again, pardon. I keep what's with me tonight? Uh, if you generate too much, you just, as I said, wasted it. And therefore, wasting weight that you could be using for armor or guns or something. The gear drive is heavier than the direct drive, but it can handle a lot more power, which means your potential hot speed is higher and it's more efficient. But we'll need more stuff for it. So, seven turbines. We'll box these up nice and close. I guess since we need seven, we'll do one in the middle and there. Yeah, don't worry, you've got a tiny bit of excess and that's fine. There, now we're producing the power to max out our gear drives. The only way to make it go faster is to remove extra weight. However, we have a problem. Yeah, not venting enough. This number tells us we're producing more smoke from our power plants so the ship can safely ventilate. We have to fix this or it can't sail. It's fixed as easy. Add more vents. Each vent can remove a certain amount, and as long as we've got at least the right amount, we're good. Clemson vent. That should do it. We're ready to sail. Let's quickly load up the... Okay, here we go. The Denali 2. Let's upgrade this one. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, we can't undo. That's uh, uh, fine. We'll, we'll reconfigure the... Um, we'll reconfigure the... Um, what do you call it? The vents. Take them all off? But what did we take off? You guys saw that, right? I, I took something off by accident there, right? Ah, whatever. Okay, we won't worry about it for now. Can I fit more than that? No, I think that's because you have a certain amount of propellers on the ship, and you can only have one drive per propeller. I'll do the same thing. We'll have uh, seven turbines, since I guess that's the amount we need. Oh, we're overweight. Okay. Um, tell you what. Strip those off. Let's do a bit of reconfiguring. Guns off. We'll do, a, we'll do a proper reconfigure. Searchlights will leave. Right, engines. Right, okay. So we've got that. Vents. Ah, yes. The other thing we've got. Ah, we do have more advanced vents, but I don't know that we can necessarily fit any of them yet. Hang on, three tons. Are these lighter? Ah, they're lighter. Okay, so these would be more efficient. Can we take off the old vents then? Yes, we can. Okay. So if it's some very slightly lighter right, vents, W vent or Farragut. Try the W vents. They're quite elegant looking, very tall. 
How many do we need? Seven. Man, we need a lot. That's a lot of smokestacks. And you could sort of um, clip them into the superstructures you maybe saw there as well. Okay, so we have our speed. We'll take our armor off entirely for now. Um, main guns, five inch. Let's try and, yeah. Let's try and fit something a bit more conventional for a, a ship. Let's have maybe two dual guns at the front. Oh, hang on. Go a little bit further forwards. There we go. Oh, that's not a good firing arc. There we go. And yeah, these are small enough that we can mount them on there. Maybe they have fixed that issue already. Or maybe it's just those are small enough that it doesn't matter. It's been a while since I've worked on it. I can't remember too well what the actual limits were. Right, put those there. Yep. Two. We're actually down a torpedo technically, but that's fine. Uh, we do have those rockets we could fit. I think I'd rather... If they're clipping into the superstructure a little bit, I think I'd rather have a... With a ray gun. How much do those rockets sway? Oh, not very much. Okay. We'll have a couple of rocket batteries, and then we'll... No, we won't. We need to save that armor for... Oh, save that armor? I suppose that's nearly right. We need to save that weight for armor. Yes, words. Hmm. Save. Delali 3. Yep. <laughs> also already made one of those before. Okay, this is a bit more like it. Ah, and it's now letting us choose our ships because we've got more than one. Oh, wait, there was a Denali 2 already. Am I going crazy? Did it automatically rename it that? I don't know what's going on there. Wolfback, five days later. Get to Midway. Cue the Sabaton song. You weren't manoeuvring at all. Do you realise how difficult that made things for us and the escorts? I know that. Trust me, Captain, I have my reasons. And I'm sorry that it was difficult. I appreciate how you handled it. What do you mean by reasons, Merriweather? Um, sorry to interrupt, sirs, but we have a call coming in from Admiral Weaver. Captains, I was briefed about what happened in Truk. Is the Ratos call right? The Ratos is fine, Admiral. We got it through all right. The only problem is the rest of the escorts are damaged during the fight. It'll just be her and Quinn's ship heading to Hawaii. Uh, excuse me, sirs, we... Did interrupt us, Lieutenant? The calls, please give us a moment. It's unfortunate that the other escorts were taken out. Quinn, can you make sure nothing happens to the Ratosk? It's absolutely essential that the Ratos reaches Hawaii. You'll do whatever you have to in order to ensure this. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. I can and will keep the Ratosk and Merryweather out of harm's way. Good. Over and out. What is it, Lieutenant Nichols? Sir, I was trying to tell you one of the lookouts spotted a submarine periscope. Our sonar team report they hear torpedo tubes filling with water as we speak. That would have been worth interrupting even louder for Nichols, I think, actually. <laughs> Damn. Man your stations, everyone. Ah. Submarines. Uh, our weapon groups are all messed up. I forgot to set those, and I forgot to upgrade the fire control. Uh, okay, it's fine. We'll get to that in a minute. Attention enemy SIPs. We sent our submarines. Now, if you're dead to rights, there's no way out. So under the rattles, this can end now. A mysterious man with a very mysterious haircut. Oh, Lord, not again. Captain, I think the signal was coming from the island itself. Who are you to demand anything? We are your Manganda. Your Manganda? It's the faction who attacks the Ratosk and troop. We'll deal with your submarines. All hands, prepare for anti-submarine warfare. Yep. Depth charges. Okay, number three. Badonk. I love how high that catapults them. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's a lot of rockets! Ah. Oh! Fire our own back. Ah, that's the thing with rockets. Yeah, you don't carry very many of them. Well, two is our guns. Okay. Man, they're pretty evasive. Except when they're stopped by the walls, apparently. Oh, I think that's submarines there as well. Yep. We need to be closer? We need to be closer. I think we nearly dropped a depth charge on our own ship there, but oh well. Uh, I need to fix these weapon groups next time we go into the harbour. This is messing me up. I keep pressing 1 to switch to... Oh, jeez. Ah, we're coming apart. At the repair bots. 
We've had better missions, I'll say that much. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I think we maybe took a torpedo hit, maybe, or a bomb. Oh, boy. They're all chasing us again. Four. Yeah, can you shoot that down, please? Curtis XP-71. Oh, don't know that one. will be the air up to them. Oh! Of course there's probably hangars on the shore, isn't there? I'm pretty sure this island's hostile, so we'll we'll shell this one a bit. That'll help us out a bit. Yeah, I see you there, submarine. Let's, see what, let's deal with that one quickly. Oh, I think we've been shelling housing. Whoops! Uh, not intentional. Oh my god, look at the ship! <laughs> oh, damage effects! I just realised. I think that's new. I did just notice that. Okay, I think we got the submarines. Are these PT boats respawning? That's why I can't target it. I haven't got a gun selected. Okay, let's sink the subs. Ah, there we go. Air traffic control. That's what we need. Uh, was it Z and C? Is there an airfield there? I think we got them. So, look out for the submarine pad. Oh, they're respawning as well. Okay. Sink that. Got it. S sink it? Yes, sink the building. What am I doing? <laughs> There's another derelict. I suppose this has got any treasure in it, has it? Or is it just a way through? Just a way through, I think. Oh, no, it did have something in it. Porter class. Uh, five torpedoes. That looks torpedoable. Oh, yeah, there we go. We've got five spread torpedoes. Uh, speaking of five spread torpedoes. Got it. The enemy base destroyed Captain and remaining subs gone silent. Have they? <laughs> there seems to be three of them still. They're finally safe, then. Mmm. Yes, sir, all right. Hold it. Lieutenant? Sir, Fire Team reports that the primary fire control computer took some heavy shocks during that last fight. There's ball bearings and gears all over the floor. They said they were operating by dead reckoning for most of the fight. <laughs> Look at the angle our ship's at. I only just noticed that. I think we're about to capsize. Uh, damn it, not again. Catch a merry weather, I don't suppose. Ah, you've really been putting that poor ship through her paces, haven't you? Yes, I can rig up a spare few. In fact, I do you one better. I know things have been difficult between us, Captain. Captain Quinn, come with me. Uh, I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer. I'm going to see if I can get anything out of these uh, subs quickly. See if there's anything left in them. Any, um, right, I mean, treasure. I'm guessing not. Oh, hello! That's in the, um, the little crossing bit we came from. There was a secret. I nearly missed that. Yes, please. I would like whatever is in here. Hey, Novagrod. Is that the round thing? That might be interesting. <laughs> I have a feeling our first ship is going to be a bit of a weird one. Okay, good. Now we can... Yeah, go to debriefing. Complete. B-97. Destroyer and bridge. Novagrod. Novagrod. Herbidabadabadabada. Words tonight. Honestly, wow. Clearly the short break over Christmas is... Completely robbed me of my ability to speak my own language. Uh, also, pom poms, quad mount, porter class destroyer, and porter bridge. Excellent. Ship designer will probably finish off with making our own uh, new ship, I think. Alright, well, we could just swap out your broken components like last time. I think it's time I showed you what the Ratosk is really capable of. We're not going to start for the deny this time. Let's make a new ship from scratch. Click this button. New ship. Okay, I guess we're creating this. The fire gut is a bit nicer than the Clemson hull you've been using now. It can carry more weight and withstand more damage. And its deck is also bigger, giving you more room for equipment. You already know how to add a weapon to equipment. Seriously, my voice. 
You already know how to add weapons and edges to your ships. Not going to make you do that all over again. Today our goal is to add everything else. I see. We'll start with the ship's bridge. Where are you command from? Naturally, all the bridges that the Ratos produce are wheelchair accessible. <laughs> okay, that's cute. That does sound pretty helpful, actually. This button provides access to all the bridges you've unlocked. Choose the climb to bridge and place it on the ship. Pep. Excellent. Well, it provides space for your command staff. The bridge also gives us secondary bridge uh, benefits, like system slots or auxiliary space, which will be important in just a moment. In addition to the bridge, you can install an aft bridge. They provide similar benefits, not required, but we'll want one for later, so add it anyway. Okay. Good. You can also install superstructure on your ship. Super superstructure provides space for crew and equipment. In other words, it gives you more auxiliary space. <coughs> oh dear. In addition, many lightweight weapons can be built on top of superstructure. Building superstructure gives you more options for how your ship is laid out. It's a box, basically. Add a dumbbell. And yes, you gain access to superstructures from different ship sizes. It doesn't just have to be the one that you're building. Okay, now it's time to do something with that space we've created. The ship systems use up that auxiliary space to provide you with a variety of passive benefits. I can preview your radar and sonar range so that you shoot faster and move. Or, me or. We only have the plans for a few systems right now, but we'll get more over time, I am sure. Go to the systems list and add a radar and a loader loader. Okay, so I don't have to be too hard on myself for forgetting to add those because um, apparently I literally couldn't have. Is that right? Radar 1? Okay. Okay, I had to back out. Now I should set up some specials. Ah, yeah, so that's things like the boost. As you may remember, the Denali had the overdrive, dodge, and ram. Each ship could have each ship could have three specials. Is this one you're particularly fond of? You could sort more than once. Ah, yes, yes. If you want to just boost all the time. All right, shift. What do we have? Okay, so we only have those ones. Ah, that is the strafe. Okay, so I was having a brain moment there. All right, we'll just take one of each. Is that right? No, I think that was dodge. Tell you what, we'll just have to dodge. I wasn't using the overdrive much. Fantastic. The last thing I wanted you to bring your attention to is your cosmetic options. Ah, yes. Flags and things. And you can make your own. Okay. We're not going to do that, though. Your ship. No. Okay. Huh? Oh, she's a... She's a... I see. Oh my god, it is! It's the round boy! The infamous Novigrod. Who would dare defy the gods of ship design in such a fashion? Makes a better flying saucer than a ship. Roundy. Also got the experimental ship design. This ship is built to a smaller scale than most destroyers. Agile, hard to hit, but cannot fit many weapons. Oh, so it is literally a... Oh, it's kind of cute. Uh, beamy as it might be, let's maybe see what the best thing we could build is. B97 or the Porter. What's the difference? Porter's a lot longer. Oh, and the... Okay, I like the look of that. That looks okay. Bridges. B29. Or the Porter Bridge, which is a lot larger, but has a lot more stuff in it. We'll, have the... we'll go for that. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, I think because it's overlapping. Okay. Could even be very weird and put it there, but I think we'll try putting it there. Okay. Aft bridge. Oh, B97's aft bridge. Okay. Could be all the way at the back. That would be unusual. Yeah, why not? What about that right on the back? It's not going to be back much back there anyway, apart from a few depth charge launches, so... They'll launch those off the back, where I kind of expect them to, to be. Uh, specials, same as before. We'll take dodge, dodge, ram. Um, trying to remember what I'm actually supposed to be doing here. I've got various superstructures. But what we've got the options for. Quite a lot is the answer, apparently. Oh, that is all of them. Okay. Um, we'll have something. We'll have maybe... 
Maybe this for like a raised AA mount. If it'll fit. That maybe there. Okay. Uh, no, let's put the engines in while I'm thinking about it. All right. Um, get drive. Put it under there where it's not going to be in the way. How many rudders do we have? Can we fit more of those? No, okay. That another seven generators. Is that the same as before? Put those there. Uh, get seven vents. Ah, yes, I forgot we'd still need these. Let's try the Farragut ones, see how they look. We can stack them up a bit. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Hexagonal pattern. Okay, we'll go with that. No, uh, point events. I think the pom-poms are smaller. Yeah, there we go. Put the main guns, but I wanted to make sure I've got some of this, the other stuff in while I'm thinking about it. Can we fit one up there? No. Oh, but I know what we could maybe fit up there. Oh, that doesn't really fit up there either. Okay. Can we do... Single barrel, maybe? Okay, that fits. That doesn't. Okay. Hmm. Not so sure on that one. Oh, I guess we could fit another... Be a little bit weird, but we'll still be able to use it in broadside. Let's fit a sing uh, double there. Maybe even back facing would probably be better. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll have... Single at the back. We're going to focus more on torpedoes for this design, I think. How much mass we've we got? We've still got a fair bit. And clearly, by the, by the amount of torpedoes we mounted. Okay, since so we've got some weight left. Oh, we've got to add our systems, haven't we? Oh, yes, there's also these additional bits. Little visual bits or useful things like the searchlights. If it went up there? No. Okay. Some search lights there. We'll also add a crane because they're actually really useful. It may not sound like it, but they are. Uh, because they effectively let you grab power up some further away. So a couple of those. I believe that's what they used to do. <laughs> we could have a horn, apparently. Yeah, crate pickup radius. We have some flags. Um, but we're instead going to fit. How many auto? How many slots do we have? Five excess. I think that's that. Okay. Can we fit radar one? No. Oh, you don't have enough space to add more systems. Okay. Oh, we do have an unused system slot, but we need more. Okay, so if we added the superstructure, we could add more. Um, we could have that as well. I think we want that, so we're going to add. A little, uh, I guess, auxiliary command center at the back of the ship. Uh, where's the thing? Hey, there we go. Can we upgrade that? We can. Excellent. Cool. Okay. We're well set. Uh, we've still got space for armor. It's gone rather well, I'd say. Uh, what could we have? Six inches? Yeah, 40 knots. Six inch armor. I think that's good. <laughs> I can't remember, but I think that's good. Uh, oh, no, I know what we wanted. We wanted more point defense. We might take some armor off, maybe, and fit some pom-poms at exchange. Can we not mount this on there? Oh, it's the mass limit. Okay. Okay, cut off 100 tons of armor. As a general rule with the uh, historical ships, the more anti-aircraft coverage, uh, the better. Uh, and no, there was not a, a thing, such a thing as too much. Fit those there, and they're not in the way. Uh, I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I think we're reasonably well kitted out there. Um, something to paint on it. Like a little kraken. Googly eyes, apparently. Flags, texts, and... Oh, there's more! <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's adorable. Arthur not 
Nichols, Quinn, Emblems. Oh, I do like that one. Oh, yeah, that's the flag I liked. I remember that from the review. Flags again, flags again. Ships. Uh, why not? Stick a little. Boet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I right, stop. It's fine. We're good. Okay. Okay, now that's all. Um, camo. That's what I was going to look at. Hmm. kind of like that. If I did like a... A dark blue. And then like a really dark green. Does that kind of look like seaweed? Kind of. Is there a... Hmm. Maybe set that to the grey then. Or the really dark grey. Like a lighter blue? Is it like a grey blue? Nah. Hmm. Um. Uh, you know, we'll try that. We'll try that as a look. Um, There's something else I need to do, and I'm trying to remember what it is. Flag. Flag. I can set my flag. Billion Pride Flag, Jormaganda, we could just be them. Uh, China, Russia, Italy, Japan, Germany. Oh, that was it. Yeah, I like the German flag. This. I'm not from Germany, but I really like that little, uh, little burb. Right, I think we're good. No, we aren't. We can't actually control all the AA guns we put on it. Um, with that one. Yeah, I forgot you have to... Uh, PD command is point defense command. It's how many um, defensive guns you could fit. Uh... YouTube. YouTube? YouTube? Yuto? Yuto class. Why not? Oh. Mark. One. Okay. Yuto Mark One definitely doesn't exist. Is that just so you tell... Oh, maybe it just tells you that every time. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's why it shows up. And we'll very quickly test it out in the uh, thing before we uh, finish up. Well, that looks okay. Yeah, that camera looks looks all right. The guns are not set up right. Configure weapons. Uh, that should be three. Pom poms could be four. Guns should be one, and torpedoes can be two. That saved. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So we've got reasonably good. Coverage on those guns. Yeah, okay. That's good for broadsides. Two is not meant to be the pom-poms. What's going on? Pom-poms are meant to be four. Torpedoes are meant to be two. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I like that for looks, but I might not do that for those. I might try that for the torpedoes. I don't know why the the weapons groups aren't working quite away. Expect what? Why? Why could I? Something weird's going on there. I see. Oh, I think the the weapons are right. They just haven't updated on the thing. That's interesting. Maybe those don't want to be a ripple. I thought that ripple would work a little differently on them. Uh, let's also test the... Unusually damp target dummy. I like that. Okay. That works. And the aircraft guns work. It's interesting how the, uh, the test aircraft can take damage, but the test ships can't. It doesn't actually mean anything, it's just uh, just a little interesting. Right, there we go. Well, hopefully, YouTube, you've enjoyed this first episode. I've quite enjoyed coming back to this, seeing what's changed already, seeing what's the same. It's looking quite good. I look forward to testing our new boy out in an actual mission at some point. 
Uh, I will see you all next time.